If you want to practice all of the new PTE questions using artificial intelligence on an online portal that has a similar marking to your real PTE exam, head over to masterpte.com.au to create a free account. Here, you can practice all four sections separately and receive instant feedback for all of your speaking, writing, reading, and listening. You can also view and compare your answers with others who have already succeeded in achieving a high score. Download 9090 Bands template for speaking, writing, and listening. Take mock test, receive instant result, overall feedback, and in-depth analysis which helps you pinpoint exactly where you lose points. MasterPTE.com.au the best PTE practice software in the world. The natural resources we consumed are unsustainable, so we have to develop alternative energy, such as wind power, biological energy, and hydropower. Among them, solar energy should be given high priority because it's not only reusable and renewable but also can be easily acquired on land. However, these types of energy are hard to store, so new technology is still required. The universe we know it is actually really old. Do you know exactly how old is the universe? The universe is about 50 billion years old and it is discovered that the oldest star is about 30 billion years old, not older than the universe which is perfectly matched. Well, people thought it might expand it 10 to 20 billion years ago however according to the theory of Big Bang it actually happened 13, 7 billion years ago. The Big Bang Theory is also known as the cosmological model as simply an amazing discovery. 
The expansion of the universe had really occurred 13.7 billion years ago which is can match the current prediction of the cosmological model. However, we still not sure how many years more and will expand in the future is really unknown to us. Years of studying DNA replication and photosynthesis did little to prepare me for a career in technology. I had to teach myself everything from sales, marketing, strategy, even a little programming on my own. I had never held the title of product manager before I sent my resume into Etsy. I had already been turned down by Google and several other firms and was getting frustrated. The company had recently gone public, so as part of my job application, I read the IPO filings from cover to cover and built a website from scratch, which included my analysis of the business and four ideas for new features. It turned out the team was actively working on two of those ideas and had seriously considered a third. I got the job. We all know people who were ignored or overlooked at first, but went on to prove their critics wrong. My favorite story, Brian Acton an engineering manager who was rejected by both Twitter and Facebook before co-founding WhatsApp, the mobile messaging platform that would sell for $19 billion.
It took time, but eventually these conversations planted seeds of doubt in me. My friends on Twitter took the time to understand Westboro's doctrines, and in doing so, they were able to find inconsistencies I'd missed my entire life. Why did we advocate the death penalty for gays when Jesus said, let he who is without sin cast the first stone? How could we claim to love our neighbor while at the same time praying for God to destroy them? The truth is that the care shown to me by these strangers on the internet was itself a contradiction. It was growing evidence that people on the other side were not the demons I'd been led to believe. These realizations were life-altering. Once I saw that we were not the ultimate arbiters of divine truth, but flawed human beings, I couldn't pretend otherwise. I couldn't justify our actions, especially our cruel practice of protesting funerals and celebrating human tragedy. These shifts in my perspective contributed to a larger erosion of trust in my church, and eventually it made it impossible for me to stay. In spite of overwhelming grief and terror, I left Westboro in 2012. In those days just after I left, the instinct to hide was almost paralyzing. Well, the Voynich manuscript has had many different theories uh, proposed for it. Uh, some people think that it's um, a complete hoax. Uh, it's now been carbon dated from the 15th century, so it's most likely if it is a hoax to have been a 15th century hoax, which I personally don't believe. But some people think it's just gobbledygook, it's just uh, an invention to make money, somebody made it to fool people and make money. Um, other people think it's probably a code in other words, someone encoded lots of secrets in it, uh, hoping that no one would find out. And if so, that's been very successful because no one's cracked it so far. But in my opinion, it is actually a genuine script, obviously a, a human devised script, but masking behind it a genuine human language. In a language which seems to me to have 
more, if you like, Near Eastern, maybe Caucasian, uh, Asian aspect to it rather than European because of some of the words that I've decoded. Um, so I would imagine that once we've actually managed to decode the script, we'll find that the language underneath is a, a natural human language probably from that part of the world. I study the effects of incivility on people. What is incivility? It's disrespect or rudeness. It includes a lot of different behaviors, from mocking or belittling someone, to teasing people in ways that sting, to telling offensive jokes, to texting in meetings. And what's uncivil to one person may be absolutely fine to another. Take texting while someone's speaking to you. Some of us may find it rude, Others may think it's absolutely civil. So it really depends. It's all in the eyes of the beholder and whether that person felt disrespected. We may not mean to make someone feel that way, but when we do, it has consequences. Over 22 years ago, I vividly recall walking into this stuffy hospital room. It was heartbreaking to see my dad, this strong, athletic, energetic guy, lying in the bed with electrodes strapped to his bare chest. What put him there was work-related stress. For over a decade, he suffered an uncivil boss.
An essay is a chance to identify your reading and learning. As a writer, you first need to collect many materials, then write an essay in four or five paragraphs, structures and quotes. If someone is searching for a book or article to read, he or she will decide from the very beginning whether this work is worth attention. If you want to wow your teacher, polish the introduction, especially the first couple of sentences. Add an essay hook something interesting, funny, shocking, or intriguing to win the reader's attention. Build an emotional connection with your reader right from the start. A hook in the essay is a catchy sentence or paragraph in the impressive introduction which serves as an attention element and an important part. An excellent hook sentence is engaging and interesting. It is a perfect method to start an argumentative or persuasive essay. The hook for your essay often appears in the first sentence. The opening paragraph includes a thesis sentence. Some popular hook choices can include using an interesting quote, a little-known fact, famous last words, or a statistic. On a range of measures, Australia is a multicultural success story. On educational attainment, studies show that children of immigrants in Australia attain better average results than children of native-born Australians. This is significant because according to research conducted by the OECD, the successful integration of immigrant students is an important indicator of a country's success in its education system and equity and broader socially cohesive policies. A country that has positive outcomes in this sector shows that immigrants and their children have opportunities to grow and thrive and the variance in performance gaps between immigrant and non-immigrant students across countries, even after socioeconomic status is adjusted for, illustrates the role that proactive education policy can play in a nation.
Well I think the drugs we use are not taken seriously into account parents leave their drugs all over the place at home but their children may accidentally take these drugs before they know it. And soon many children are victim to accidents now. This must be avoided at all cost. One way preventing accidents is to put drugs in closed boxes. Also, parents can firmly close the lid really well I am sure kids would not be able to reach it. Another problem we find in mismanagement of drugs how these medicines can be allergic to many people. We have to remember different drugs have different resistance and duration that is extremely dangerous if someone takes a wrong drug. So what are the ways we can stop this from happening? Well, I suggest introduce the course, which will primarily improve the misuse of drugs and greatly improve our eaves. Mars is an interesting planet, which is the closest neighboring planet to the Earth. Mars and Earth have similar geological features, with mountains and hills on surface. Since water was found on Mars, the key question now is where the water is. Mars has an atmosphere as we have found rare gases and heavy gases.
If you want to practice all of the new PTE questions using artificial intelligence on an online portal that has a similar marking to your real PTE exam, head over to masterpte.com.au to create a free account. Here, you can practice all four sections separately and receive instant feedback for all of your speaking, writing, reading, and listening. You can also view and compare your answers with others who have already succeeded in achieving a high score. Download 9090 Band's template for speaking, writing, and listening. Take mock test, receive instant result, overall feedback, and in-depth analysis which helps you pinpoint exactly where you lose points. MasterPTE.com.au the best PTE practice software in the world.